It's about 7 a.m. on a beautiful Saturday morning. And today, well, as I struggle to wake up, but today we are going to be building my altar. An altar. Mother's hunting in the forest. Mother's cooking in the hall. And so I'm going to walk you through how I build my altar from scratch. Now, what's interesting is I'm also going to show you how I build my altar table because I ordered a fresh new glass, golden glass um, table that I'll have to assemble. But first, um, um, let's clean up. Um, I've been holding my pee, so let's go to the bathroom first. Um, uh, can you explain to me why the cleaner is all of a sudden outside of my window, cleaning the window without no notice? Like, okay, you're just gonna watch me pee then, I guess. Oh my God. All right, so let's, um, put out the groceries, put them back into the fridge. So I did some grocery shopping um, on Friday evening and obviously I was way too tired to put them in. So I'm just going to be chugging all my fruits, veggies and all the fun stuff I bought into the fridge. My highly disorganized fridge, by the way. Don't zoom in. Do not zoom in. You're not going to like it. But let's put out all the goods and uh, let's clean up a little bit let's make the house smell good because i have a spiritual teacher that always says lakshmi um, who is a goddess that gives right uh, when it comes to wealth she gives and my spiritual teacher would say lakshmi doesn't like dirty homes everything needs to be beautiful clean well kept so um honestly without that i i, I do love a visually appealing um, environment either way so yeah I want my home to smell good I want it to look good because it is a beautiful day where I will be creating my altar and so I'm starting the day with some beautiful music in the background the entire house has to smell good I'm having an incredibly soft morning and I'm inviting you to share this soft morning and space with me so as you can see, I cut up some fruit, some oranges. Sometimes I put limes. Um, if I have mint leaves, I put mint leaves, but I had lavender, so I put lavender and oranges, and that's going to be the flavor for the house. And I'll be boiling it and just putting it on the stove. And yeah, I let the vapor, the vapor rise. <laughs> um, I spray um, some really, really great smelling um fresh perfume um it's not really a perfume it's um and it's not an eau de toilette it's more like an eau de toilette actually right it's an eau de toilette and it smells so good i got it at target um, i got the oil as well i just love the lemony um look to it and it smells incredible feels great i love oils on my skin so after washing i need oils and you know to lock in the moisture on my skin so it doesn't get super dry after washing. So here we go. And then um, I gotta get ready to go out to the sanctuary. So here's the sanctuary. Um, this is where I buy a lot of my spiritual items and just some small goods for the house to keep the feng shui and to keep the vibe serene. Um, so here's where I'll be shopping for some of my items for the altar, especially my incense bowls and uh, my feathers, etc. And I'm going to discuss why I got um, some of the items that you're going to see on my altar. But this is the beautiful sanctuary um, that I purchased my spiritual goodies from. And here is where the witches and the animists gather. Anyway, let's go home. <laughs> All right, so we're back home and here are the items that have come in for me to build uh, my altar table. So as you can see, it's gotten pretty late and I was listening to something on YouTube while I work. And um, I don't like DIYs, but 
I, it's very, very, it's incredibly satisfying when I'm done with any DIY and I assembled almost everything in my house by the way the chairs you see all of that I assembled all of it it's not something I enjoy but when I finish it it is so rewarding the feeling is incredibly rewarding I feel like um, how do I put it? I feel like an engineer I actually legitimately feel like an engineer after I assemble absolutely anything at all it doesn't matter how little or how big or how massive or how complicated it is. When I'm done with any DIY, I am an engineer. So Engineer Chichi is done with the altar table. Ta-da! So what you must know is um, when you're setting up your altar, and this is not something you must do. This is what I'm doing and this is how most people set up their altars, okay? So obviously your spirit will lead you and you would be able to figure out what exactly works for you and what doesn't work for you what you don't want in your altar so obviously first you have to start out with the, f the four elements right so you need something to represent earth you need something that would represent fire you need something that would represent the air and then you also need water a representation of water itself so as you can see the earth for me is the plant right it has earth it has soil on it it's a living thing and then um, the air representation for me, for me is the golden structure at the back that holds incense I'm also eventually going to add um, a feather and for water that's a big cowrie shell right I have a massive cowrie shell that um, I will be adding on there to represent water. I obviously have my candles to represent fire. I also have some salt stones, those round balls or salt stones that are part of my representation of earth. And then I have the little snake structure over there that represents wisdom and earth as well. Wow. And eventually I'll be adding some ancestor money. This is my altar. Mother's home.